Hey guys, let me take you through my concrete mixer modification here, which I use to mix up my shiitake blocks in. Now, I don't make many shiitake blocks, I don't grow much shiitake. One, because I think it's actually quite challenging uh, to grow really good quality shiitake, until it uses a lot of room out there in the incubation. Uh, shiitake blocks need to be incubated for a number of months, and um, due to that, as you're putting volume through, you have to have a lot of blocks sitting up there, taking up a lot of room. Um, so I only grow a token amount, and be because I only grow a token amount, um, I can get away with mixing it up in a concrete mixer, which I've made this modification on, so it um, mixes up the shiitake really well. Now the shiitake substrate, I just use a mix of um, oak wood chips. This is oak here, um, it's very, very hard to get in New Zealand, um, but because it comes in these, um, these little bricks here, I need to add water to that and allow that brick to sort of break up into its sawdust. Um, I also mix it with wheat bran, and I'm mixing it at about 10% today. People use up to 20%, um, but I find I've had a lot of mutation in my shiitake um, at the higher bran content, and I don't know if it's strain specific or, specific or what it is. Because of that, I'm just going to mix it at 10% today. So we'll go and throw some water in here, and um, we'll get these shiitake blocks all um, broken up, add the bran in, and then uh, show you just what I've done to this concrete mixer to make it mix really well. So I've got about 9 kgs of um, oak in there, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in about 12 kgs of water. We'll um, get this spinning, and as we put the water in, and you can see these um, bricks will slowly break apart. Now what I have done on this concrete mixer is fix these little uh, stainless loops here. What they are good for is you can throw the lid on like that. And affix that. Now that that's affixed, we can really get this. We can really get that horizontal. Normally you can't do that because it starts spilling everything out here. But with this on, it holds it in perfectly. So this has been running for a few minutes now. So we'll turn it off and we'll have a look. You can see that's it there. So this would have all been tipping out if it wasn't for this. But that is looking really nice. Now to continue on, I have a kg of wheat bran here. We're just going to get this and we're just going to tip it in there. Place our lid. Turn that on. And get that horizontal again. So now we just need to give this a few minutes to mix that bran amongst all that uh, oak wood chip. While you're waiting, you can engage in other amusing activities. Like not watching TV. Right, so it's been mixing for a few minutes now. Just tip it up like that so it all rolls itself back to the back. And there we have some beautiful shiitake substrate. So I've got our shiitake substrate all made, it feels really good. The last thing we're going to do is put it into mushroom grow bags. And these are unicorn bags, the only grow bag you should ever use. Um, all I like to do is get my big scoop here. Scoop it in. Grow bag. Over the top. And there you have it. We can um, put another half scoop in there to bring it up a bit higher as well. 
This here should make about eight or ten bags. Um, you might be thinking, oh, that's quite a slow process. It is, but I simply don't make enough shiitake to warrant spending money on um, making this process any faster. I don't want to buy big mixing, big ribbon blenders. Um, one, I don't have room for it. Two, I don't make enough shiitake to warrant it. Um, and three, to get that stuff in New Zealand is very, very expensive. Um, we certainly don't have the market services servicing us like uh, uh, you lucky folk in America have. Um, so everything here is, is uh, costs a lot more. So that is why we use the old um, concrete mixer goodie, where it's a treat. And so here's our 10 bags, all complete. I could have maybe put a little bit more in each bag, but that's all right. Um, now of note, some people do tend to mix in gypsum or calcium carbide, I believe it is, uh, into their uh, shiitake uh, substrate. Um, when I was making a lot more shiitake, I was, but I haven't for this batch. Um, if I was a mass producer and I'm looking for, you know, those sort of like 5% increases on each yield, um, I would be really refining my substrate down. But for me, because I don't grow a heck of a lot of substrate, I sort of grow a token amount, um, I'm not too concerned. So we'll get these into the uh, sterilizer now, get them sterilized, get them um, inoculated with probably 3790, and we'll get them in the incubation room. And uh, in a couple of months, I'll do another video, and we'll show you just what these look like.